It's me on the computer gaming with Lay's with Lay's chips. Uh, I used to have a lot more junk food than I did. Now I eat healthy. I know I said weird things about what healthy is used the word, but what I mean is nutrition. And you roll in it. It turns out, while I know the taste of many foods, um, I don't really care to have to try. Like, I, it doesn't matter if I live the rest of my life not having all the possible foods I can. I'd be fine with that. I just have boring, samey meals every day. You can give me space food and I'll probably be fine. As long as I have my recommended vitamins and minerals. So that's cool, right? The slime! What happens when you put slime in the water? Nothing, because the water is just an affectation of your blue hue. Oh, great. It's... Those Squidward birds. The bird words. Okay, I'm gonna call them bird words effectively right now. And we got that plant thing. It's here. We got this fucking thing. Spider bot. There's a lot of rigging, I suppose. We got a CRT worth 500 points. If this were dollars, I'd be very rich, which, you know, which would be in character, you know, like, I can imagine playing as a be like, well, if every point was a dollar, you think Duke Nukem would be a millionaire? And it's like, yeah, I can see that. It's the, it's the rare roasted well done turkey underwater. So if you think you can cook underwater, yes. Notice how I only said you think you can cook underwater. I didn't say anything about cooking, just the thinking part. Don't look at me like that's a gotcha, you know what I said. How are you looking at me anyway, you weirdo? Are you watching me? Oh wait, yes you are, this is getting little plays, Duke Nukem 2. Again, I have the radar showing off where the waterfall is, and the dropping water, like... The radar doesn't need to do that. I want the radar to show me, like, enemies. Is it showing me the boxes, too? Huh. You know, I think I, this radar is kind of sketchy. Don't ever believe in the radar masses. Ever again. That's why I radiate such exhumed power slaves. What was that? Oh, nothing. Just a, um... I'm getting a future vision. Farther in the future, but... I'm thinking, okay? And I'm thinking, oh yeah, I can't wait to do something like that. Because... Who is ever LP'd Power Slave? I guarantee you... FUCKING NO ONE! Specifically the Dolls one. And it's right up my field. It's just that there's, like, at least three to four 3D <laughs> fucking, um, build engine games I do first. Including maybe Ken's Labyrinth. But, I don't know, Ken's Labyrinth is very out there. It's a Wolfenstein-like, though, granted. It's just, um, yeah. Maybe somewhere down the line. It's it's certainly on the list, this Ken's Labyrinth thing, but like, it's, it's like a, it's a really prototypical game. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't count on me doing it too soon. <laughs> Instead, we'll just be like, It's time for your daily Wolfenstein session. <laughs> oh shit, more Wolfenstein. Oh fuck God, oh Jesus, oh man. Yeah, I kind of appreciate people do those projects, but when they're like, okay, I'm doing, like, five minutes of this project, and then five minutes of this one, five minutes of this one, and then it's like, when does it all end? Like, I don't want to be that guy that takes a month to finish each project. Games do not take me months. If I were to do this without all the recording nonsense and preparations I have to do, I would already be done with this game the moment I started the first video. No joke, I could beat it in one day. But I have to account for... time? Like, I can't just pause, you know? I think that's a downfall of recording video games, is that you can't give yourself room to stop. So you have to stop when you're stopping, or do some editing and hope that carries out, but yeah. Yeah, editing is already a creative nightmare for me. 
without getting into, like, doing art and music. Oh no, don't blow up the roast turkey! Oh. I was wondering if you blew up the roast turkey, would it get charred? I guess not. This is my computer module. What does the plant need computer chip for? Is it the rare cyber plant? Oh no, cyber plant TM is attacking your neighborhood. What do you do? Do you A. Call the police? B. Take matters into your own green thumbs? Or C. Run away screaming, give up, become plant? The answer is C, fellow plants. For you see, I've been a Manchurian plant this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Or a Manchurian in jerky. In case that's darkly funny to someone, if that makes sense to anyone who knows what that is. It's that whole show. Wow, it's like, well... Like, hey, Scoob, I got a gun. I'm gonna shoot the bad guys, and I'm not afraid anymore, but I still want some Scooby snacks, Scoob. Like, I'm gonna kick ass and chew bubble gum all out of gum, Scoob. Dookie Nukem 2, where are you? Got some sci fi action. I don't know. The reason why you can't have other Duke Nukem medium properties is because it is made out of references. I don't know what it is, but Duke Nukem is the poster boy of DOS games taking direct inspirations from things. And there's it's not like there isn't other DOS games that do that too. Oh, trust me, they do. Maybe it hasn't been too obvious, but yes. Like, for example, Wolfenstein 3D was inspired by, you know, like, a much older Wolfenstein game for Apple. You know? It was more of a stealth top 2D thing in the 80s. So, yeah. Plus, it became the trendsetter for naming your first person shooter games something something 3D. Of course, it made sense. That, that was their version before, and I think that's why Nintendo decided to call their 3D thing Nintendo 64. Because they couldn't just say, Nintendo 3D, right? Probably could have. Or if there wasn't a... Th yeah. Except they did that with the 3DS, and calling things 3D attached to that, so never mind. I guess after it stopped being cool, it was more like... Well, no, then it was 3D in the context of actually trying to appear visually 3D, like... In the theater, you put 3D glasses on or something. As opposed to, you know what you see in the game is 3D, which isn't 3D to your eyes. It, it's a it's a trick of the light. Light tricks. That's pretty much what being a gamer is about. It is about um, manipulating light. It's light manipulation. Combined with mathematics. I guess it depends. I guess on me it would be like that, yeah. So like software. Hardware, maybe. Underwear. On top of my pants. I'm a superhero. Slime. Time. Oh wait, that's Mario Party 2? Slime time is Mario Party 3. Whatever, still good. Oh wait, no, Slime time is Mario Party 4. What the fuck am I saying? I can't get my minigame straight. Maybe it's because... Nintendo decided to mash them all together instead of, like, giving me a whole bunch of stuff. It's like, here, have five boards. And I'm like, we started this series with, like, seven to eight boards. I think you're being lazy. Oh, well, that's how we have the Mario Party Planner thing. So people can make custom boards. It's as easy as making a JPEG. Except for the part where you want custom happenings. That takes more effort. I've got maximum pointos! I don't know what maximum points is. But I got the points that are worth dying for. But the points don't matter. Whose gun is this anyway? Boom, bam, safety guns. Sacred blueness. Troll. Menage de Troy. 
Alright. So it's this music, but now we're in a... Wait a minute. I had this kind of level in episode 2 also. Hmm. Well, it's different, though. The biggest difference is that this is the first level that isn't a boss level that doesn't have the nuke of letters! I looked far and wide and couldn't find it. Also, this level can really screw you up. Yeah. This might have been the toughest level for me by far. I wasn't expecting it. I would just be like, yeah, I'll just go up. But no, this... Is the, here's the first sign something's off. I got these fan things. I haven't seen them in a while, but now they're like in mid-air. And you gotta like account for that in your platforming. And you combine that with, you know, floating in the air with these orbs going around. That can really fuck with your day since I can't actually you can't actually shoot straight up while this is going on, so I was thinking of trying to float. I don't know shoot, but that's not gonna work, man! Air physics! I don't know. I feel like Duke Nukem should be able to point his gun up and down while he's in air. That would have solved everything. Hell you think Samus could do that. Let it be like, nah, you gotta go diagonal, son. And I'll be like, hey. Hey. Hey, soda cards. Oh, hey, up the side. It's all explosives and sodas and explosive sodas, but only if Duke Nukem chooses to put Mentos in a Diet Coke. I remember that stuff. I don't know if people still do it. Just to be like, ha -ha, except you're not really supposed to try it at home because, you know, explosion, but, yeah. I like how it's specifically, like, just plain Mentos and also specifically Diet Coke as opposed to regular Coke. It's the magic formula. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, shit. Sentinel drone thing. A drone tunnel. Droning on and on and on and on and me. Ah, oh, to non and me is not sought on me. Okay. Meatballs. Spaghetti underneath. Ravioli, ravioli. Great Barrier Reef. Boxes. Your role in them. Yes, but what if the box had another universe in it, and in that universe had a box of your universe, and you put the boxes within each other. Well, then you're just screwed, aren't you? But someone's holding onto that box. Yes. Oh no, I gotta fan it to you, son! Nah. Couldn't he just died the moment I shot him? But no, he has to be, like, right in front of me. He has to be a little bit away he's in front of my gun. He can't just be on my person while holding the gun. If it worked that way, then I'd be hurting myself every time I fired the gun, and not from recoil. As I recoil in horror! How wow. How wow show. This is me, the fake Russian guy. Horror show, comrade. For glorious Soviet Russia, I'm going to play some Tetris, and then I'm going to gradually transform into Morgan Freeman. That's right. The march of the new Dukes. So we go up. We go up these spikes. We grab the soda. The soda is just a bunch of extra junk calories that no one fucking cares about. But we drink it anyway because companies had to make medicine into an addicting sugary drink. That, my friends, is what's called irony. Also, look up the Salisbury steak sometime. It's also ironic. It seems junk food was originally a medicine, but like with all medicines, we turned it into a drug. Where does the difference lie between food and unnecessary comestible? Why am I shooting upwards into the sky? Am I raging against the heavens? Yes. Alright, now I'm becoming someone else. I'm becoming Tim Carter! Yes! I'm going into spice! Alright. Got soda. Um. Oh, yeah. I, I got really annoyed by this. You know what? I thought for the life of me I could get the damn rocket. It pissed me off. You know why? 
because the fucking things that are about to come up would be really have been convenient to have my rocket for. So, yeah. That fucking sucks. I don't think that's what makes this level the hardest. I think I just had a bad time. And there's probably a way to get that, and I didn't see it. Or, I was supposed to save my flamethrower to get that rocket, and I didn't. Because I didn't realize it was there ahead of time! Where in time is my Duke Nukem fan base? There, nowhere. Because forever flat, fall flat in his face. And here I am thinking, damn it, maybe if I could go back and get the rocket. So I'm just gonna hurt myself really quick. Unser unceremoniously, as I approach the abyss. What's interesting is that, though it saves how much health I had, I don't think... It turns out whatever I've killed or collected also stays gone. So, if for some reason you're playing the game and you just keep dying, keep going, you'll eventually get it. That ultimately makes this game actually easy if you're willing to put more time into it than you normally would. Because eventually, you will get there through trial and error. That doesn't apply for boss encounters, obviously. I think it seems to only apply for the the checkpoint, I think. And not when you have to start the all over at the beginning of the level, perhaps. I didn't go check that, but... Perhaps, perhaps someday we shall find out after these messages. I'm actually right here. What the heck? What? It sounds... Hmm. Might be going mad. I think I heard a sound effect somewhere else. This happens sometimes. Sometimes your brain misinterprets things. That's not a hallucination. That's just a brain error. It's a hallucination when it becomes like generating the equivalent of like Java or Python full on software. But when you have is just little bits of code. It's just more like. It's more like sometimes when I wake up. Um. I don't need the alarm because apparently sometimes I'll have an inner alarm that's like, WAKE UP! Internally in my dream, I'm like, oh damn. Or something else like, you know, a fake doorbell. Or someone yelling or screaming or something. Or just some other sounds like, boop, boop, boop. I'm like, wait. That sounded very real, but it wasn't. So, yeah. Sleep hallucinations, I guess. I don't know. It could be that my subconscious has been hard-coded to be sure of when I get back up properly so I can start up and boot. So I messed- I, I may have messed with my bios, but I didn't mess with my biography or my biology. What's with that? Yes. I, I don't know why the family blows me up a certain amount. It would have been useful if it kept going, but I can see how that would be disadvantageous to the game design. Because that's outrageous as an outrage and stuff. Okay, we're back where we were. Grab the shoot again. Grab the spikes. Round and round. Where you go, nobody is found. Ha 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 ha! Yes! And then I will. They will wake up after being. They will be knocked back down to sleep. And then. Surgery. Ha ha ha! I am a Dr. Barber. Yes! Yes! Ha, ha, ha. Gonna show up. Dress as Dr. Barber for only be like, oh shit. Everybody run! The idea of a mad scientist except it's applied to a barber. Yeah. Th th that goes to the whole thing of where barbers and doctors came from. Kind of like where chefs and priests came from, you know, that kind of thing. Language has changed, so do clothes. And then wizards are born into wizards. Yep, I'm taking my revenge on these sickos, but then I forget to actually use it to get up and get the rocket. Oops. Whatever. 
by this point I don't care and I'm just going to win like a badass. You understand? You understand what badass is? Good. It's bad and wrong. It's bad wrong. I'll have to invent a new word. It's badong. Correct. Now that you know, you can know. But what if, what if I didn't know? I don't know, I don't know. This block caves of blockness, blockness like the depths of my soul. I guess that'd be Jamaican Asian gods. Yes, man. I set ablate the Dark Lord, man. <laughs> no, not the same thing as Satanists, you shit. Plus, voodoo's not about Satanism, you dick. Anything I don't like is paganism. Oh, well, screw you then. Oh, yas. Oh, yas! I'm Duke Nukem. Yas! Becky, look at my gun. I can shoot this red box. Yas! Yas, Becky, I am a machismo. <laughs> yas! I'm a Barbie man. <laughs> Yes. Get my gun. Match my shoes. Yes. Designer guns. Right. Well, that's that's what they do in Counter Strike Global Offensive. It's like, hey, look, it's realistic guns, but you still get weapon drops. It's like, what the fuck, man? Sure. I suppose. Never will I understand the limits of content amongst in-game microtransactions. Because, I mean, yay for artificial scarcity? This is pretty much how, you know... We only have ourselves to blame. Trying to sell money out of actually just playing the products they bought, and now trying to make money off of stuff within it. Yeah. I mean, if anyone have ever bitches and asked me about complaining about microtransactions, they'll be like, well, joke's on you, motherfucker. All the shit they apply to its smartphones, they, they try to bring to computer games very fast. Why? Because no one's telling them otherwise. Why? Because they're not the ones with all the resources. Why do some people have all the resources? I don't know. I don't know, I'm just a... Not exactly a rich man. I can tell you that. I won't go into what finances are like. I know they're hell. I know I'm good at math though. Haha! <laughs> yeah, math man! Math man! Math man! Okay, next time on Duke Nukem and not Math Man, I'm going to, uh. Huh. Wait, this music is different. Okay. Next time, get a whiff of this. And see something that was used in level... Th l l what looks like level 3 of episode 1, kind of, yes? Yes. You will watch the next game. And then... Surgery.